Cadence of Conflict, Asia, March 9, 2020. Things are faring worse and worse for China, but better and better for Taiwan. The KMT Nationalist Party is abandoning its long-standing agreement to cooperate with the Chinese Communists. Much how the American Democratic Party is abandoning socialism within its ranks. Taiwan's handling of the 2019 NCOV Wuhan virus is top-notch, probably the best in the world. The irony is that Taiwan is not a member of the WHO for mere reasons of political pressure from China. The world will interpret Taiwan's absence from the WHO through the poor response to the virus from WHO members. And the world will accordingly blame China not only for the virus, but for the lack of Taiwan's valued input in the WHO. This week, when things seemed as though they couldn't get worse in China, a hotel collapsed, which housed many people being observed for the virus. Not all had been diagnosed, but at least 10 are dead from the collapse. Interestingly, this does not fare well for Taiwan. The more respect Taiwan earns from the international community, and the more spite China earns from the international community, the more envy will boil and bubble as China froths with rage against Taiwan. China's government is not functioning with any trace of sobriety. Recent events are pushing the Chinese government over the edge in their ancient desire to invade Taiwan. While that would leave them vulnerable at home and hated even more throughout the world, such things never stopped them before and certainly aren't stopping them now. And that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.